It took me some time to get the suits, as the fire depot they were in was overrun by bandits. But now we're all set to go get that fuel. The sooner we recover it, the better. All these delays are getting on my nerves. What the? Should have brought torches. Yes, we should have.
Gotta find another way. Пригодится. I'm in the generator room. Okay. Now find the master switch. Roger. Ain't opening this one. Explosion. Are you all right? Yes. I'm clearing the way for my boat. Used a bit too much explosive. I'm glad you're okay. 
Watch out for spiders, though. There's a bunch heading your way. I shot my searchlight, so let them call. Ha! Good hunting! Roger, Ed. I'm on it.
I'm all right, Ed. The lift is not, though. As long as you're okay, we're fine. Find the ventilation entrance and go up the vents to get here. Acknowledged. I thought it would be easier. 
Me too. Spiders are a bit too much, really. I hate those fuckers. I don't think even their mamas like them. Still, we pulled it off. We're almost out of the tunnel, too. So, congratulations, I guess. Thank you. Damn. This rubber is stuffy as hell. You're right about that. What now, Ed? I guess it's time to call Tom. Yes. Tom, Sam here. We have the fuel rods and are heading for the dock. Oh, great news. We'll prepare for the loading operation. What's your ETA? About an hour. About an hour. Good. We'll be waiting for you then. Tom out. We're all set. All right. It's full steam ahead. I do understand why people would follow Tom. I really do. Of course, his talk of restoring the civilization is bullshit, but I can't even say I hate him, honestly. Klim with his atrocities, on the other hand. Still, Klim's not in charge. Tom is. And be he the savior and Buddha in one person, I still could never agree with him. Before we arrive, I'd like to ask you to hear me out. You're a good guy. Honest, nice. You were nice the moment we met. I remember you put your gun down. So I'll be frank with you. I can't let Tom have the soul. I just can't. I already told you how much of a risk it is. So I won't repeat myself, you know it all. I should have taken her out to sea and scuttled her there long ago. But uh, I just couldn't. It would be like murdering my immortal soul. She bears no blame. She served us and kept us alive all these years. But now I have no choice. There is a charge in one of the roads. The guys put it in there in case we got caught. This is the detonator. I will be searched, but you... You are Tom's best pal, his negotiator. So, just press the button when I give you the signals. Don't worry, it won't go nuclear. But no bastard will ever be able to use my ship for anything after that thing goes off. I understand that you'll be losing your ticket home that way. But I think I know you well enough, son. And it seems that you're not ready to pay Tom's price. Still, if I am wrong, just toss the thing and be done with it. All I'm asking is, give it a thought, okay? I have nobody else to rely on, son. Thank you for your trust, Ed. I won't let you down. decision.
Not so fast. First, your iron. And the pockets out, too. What the hell's going on here? Stop it! Mmm, I see you have new people. Yes, sir. Sorry about that, Comrade Captain. I'm so glad so to see you. So am I, son. I'm very sorry. But you can't keep the weapons. I'll have to search you, too. It's all right. I understand. How are you? Get married yet? <laughs> Not yet, Comrade Captain. No time for that. Too busy here. You're doing well, Vitya. I always knew you'd go far. We gotta search this one too. Cap. How long has it been? Huh? Hello there yourself, Tom. Not long enough, I think. <laughs> really? Well, then again, maybe you're right. Another year out there, fresh air and all that, could have convinced you to agree to command this sub under my flag. Ha! <laughs> fresh air? It always felt stuffy out there, you know. Well, could it be a heart problem? With your age, you know. Ah, uh, no. It's just that you were around all the time. <laughs> I'll feel better too, sailing the high seas away from you. What's that noise up there? Forgetting our differences until we solve this problem. A truce? A truce. Great. Then she's in your hands. Can you take her to sea? Not until the dock gate is open. The control room is definitely in Trim's hands now, so we're stuck. How many men do we have? Barely enough to hold them at bay. And even that, only until we run out of ammo. There's dozens of them. Tom, I have a plan. You keep him distracted while I sneak out and open that gate. All alone? With the numbers they have, our only chance is not getting noticed. Oh, you're right. But we'll have to mount a diversion to make sure you do sneak out. Can we do that? 
Yes, boss. Let's do this before it gets even worse. Sam, we'll keep them busy, but still, be careful out there. Sam, wait for our signal. Roger that. Good luck, soldier. Thanks.